Welcome to our channel Top Things. We create videos on best places to visit in the world. Please subscribe to our channel and watch till the end to know everything about the place before you plan your travel. In this video we will learn everything about the most attractive place, known for its stunning architecture and history, called as Rome. Rome is the capital city and a special commune of Italy, as well as the capital of the Lazio region. This place is considered as the third most populous city in the European Union by population within city limits. According to legend, on April 21, 753 BC, Romulus along with his twin brother Remus, found Rome on the site. The city of Rome is in the central western portion of the Italian peninsula, within Lazio along the shores of the river Tiber. The city attracts visitors from all over the world who are impatient to discover the city's impressive monuments and archaeological sites. So, buckle up your seats, and let's get started to know more about this place. Number 1. Colosseum. The Colosseum is also called the Flavian Amphitheater. It is an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome. Colosseum is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and is still the largest standing amphitheater in the world. It is built of travertine limestone, volcanic rock, and brick-faced concrete. The Colosseum could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators at various points in its history. It is even considered as one of the seven modern wonders of the world. This place has long been one of Rome's major tourist attractions, receiving close to 7 million visitors annually. Number 2. St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica is also known as the Papal Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican City. The Basilica di San Pietro in Vaticano was built in between the year 1506 and the year 1626 and considered as the most famous church for visiting in Rome. St. Peter's is the most renowned work of Renaissance architecture and the largest church in the world by interior measure. It has been described as holding a unique position in the Christian world and as the greatest of all churches of Christendom. The interior of St. Peter's is filled with many masterpieces of Renaissance and Baroque art. It contains several priceless treasures in marble and bronze by the greatest Renaissance sculptors. Number 3. Pantheon. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple and considered as a Catholic church since the year 609. The building of Pantheon is cylindrical with a portico of large granite Corinthian columns under a pediment. From 7th century, the Pantheon has been in use as a church dedicated to St. Mary and the Martyrs, but informally known as Santa Maria Rotunda. The whole building stands on a 1.3 meters high base, which originally extended a further 7 meters in front of the colonnade. The building consists of two principal parts the porch, which is very classical Greek in presentation, and the circular main building, which is much more Roman in style and reminiscent of the architecture of the large Roman baths. The Pantheon may well be the first building from classical architecture where the interior is deliberately made to outshine the exterior. At the very top of the dome is an opening to the sky, called as Oculus which is 8.8 .8 meters in diameter and has a decorative bronze sheet frieze. Number 4. Roman Forum. The Roman Forum, also known by its Latin name Forum Romanum. It is a rectangular forum, surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings at the center of the city of Rome. During the time of the Roman Empire, the Forum Romanum was its seat of power. The Roman Forum was the scene of public meetings, law courts, and gladiatorial combats in Republican times and was lined with shops and open-air markets. 
Today, the Roman Forum is one of the most famous tourist sites in the world, attracting more than 4.5 million visitors annually. Number 5. Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain was designed by Italian architect named Nicola Salvi, and this was completed by Giuseppe Panini and several others. This fountain is standing 26.3 meters high and 49.15 meters wide. It is the largest Baroque fountain in the city and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Typically, visitors sling a coin into the fountain while their backs are turned to it, with hopes that they will return to Rome and find love. Number 6. Piazza Navona. Piazza Navona is one of the most remarkable squares in Rome. It is a public open space in Rome and built on the site of the Stadium of Domitian in the 1st century AD. Number 7. Spanish Steps. The Spanish Steps are a set of steps in Rome, climbing a steep slope between the Piazza di Spagna at the base and Piazza Trinita dei Monti at the top. 135 Spanish Steps were built in between the year 1723 and the year 1725 by an architect named Francesco de Sanctis. In the 18th century Spanish Steps have grown into a tourist hotspot and the top of the stairs offers a gorgeous view of Rome. The official language of Rome is Latin, the language of ancient Rome. The languages descended from Latin are French, Spanish, and Italian. Italian is widely spoken in Rome, rather than English, as it is in other European capitals. So, locals appreciate it when visitors try to converse in Italian. The people in Rome are very friendly and very helpful. Hence, learning little Italian or knowing Italian phrases would give you positive vibes during your travel. The city of Rome is served by three airports. The Leonardo da Vinci International Airport is the main international airport. Other two airports are Rome Ciampino Airport and Roma Herb Airport. Leonardo da Vinci International Airport is well connected to cities across the world. Regular train services are also excellent. The best time to visit the Eternal City of Rome is during the spring season between mid-March and May, and also during the autumn season between September and October. If you are a person who doesn't like crowds, then planning your trip during the month of November to March is the best option. The room rates during this winter season will be comparatively less, also kindly pack warm clothes along with you during the travel. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more videos.